Good afternoon, everyone. As we get started here and we're all getting situated into our session, welcome to WACAC Virtual College Exploration. Um, my name is Rachel. I am a member of WACAC, so I'm just going to be doing just a little bit of um, uh, what our session is going to be like today. Um, you will not have access to your microphone or camera. Those are turned off. So everyone is going to have access to the Q&A chat. Um, so we do encourage you to post any questions that you have for our panelists today through that Q&A chat. After today, if you do um, have any other um, questions, definitely reach out to the people in the panelists as well as they introduce themselves and, and share their contact information. All of these sessions through our college exploration are going to be available through WACAC.com. So if you know that there was a session that you missed potentially, um, or if there were two sessions at the same time that you were hoping to attend, um, you can go back to those recorded sessions afterwards. With that, I am going to let our panelists take it away and get started. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Stacey Roszewski. I am an admissions counselor at Marquette University. Been at Marquette for about three years now, and um, I've really enjoyed my experience, and I'm glad that I get to share a little bit of Marquette with you today and the student experience. So what we are going to do today is we have three admissions counselors, from one from Marquette, which is me. We have uh, Jasmine from University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, and we have Erica from Cardinal Stretch University. University. And we also have three students from each of our universities, oh, three students, one from each university, and they're going to be sharing their experience as well. Today, what we're really going to focus on is we are really going to focus on um, the what it's like to attend college in the city of Milwaukee. So at all three of our institutions, being a part of the city of Milwaukee is a big piece of the student experience. So we're excited to share a little bit of student experience from that Milwaukee perspective with you today. Um, to get things started off, I'm going to throw it over to Erica, who's going to talk a little bit of background about um, the city of Milwaukee. All right. So hello, everyone. Um, so Jasmine, if you could put up the next slide, that would be great. Thank you. So yeah, definitely there's a ton of different reasons why students are drawn to the Milwaukee area. So on there, you're going to be able to see a couple different names uh, that we have for Milwaukee. So MKE, Brew City, the Middle Coast, uh, and then Milwaukee is, you know, our own little big city. Nearly a million people call MKE their home. And Milwaukee County has extensive parks, state trails, biking and hiking paths. And then we also have the lake shore and then multiple different rivers. We are also home to NBA, MLB teams, as well as hockey, volleyball, and soccer teams. And then we definitely have our world-class museums, including the Milwaukee Art Museum, which is also known as the College Havre. And then we are also home to Harley Davidson, Johnson Controls, Rockwell, uh, Jockey Coles, Northwestern Mutual, Manpower, uh, so many different areas for all of our students to go ahead and obtain different internships. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Jasmine Binion. I am the new freshman admissions manager here at UWM. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of information on this slide. Um, I'm not going to talk much about what's on the slide. I think our students can do that for us, but really some things to hit on. Um, UWM um, is the second largest university in Wisconsin, um, but we're a really compact campus. It only takes about five minutes to get from, oh, sorry, 10 minutes to get from one side of campus to the other. Um, many benefits of our location, I would say. Um, we have about uh, 1,700 uh, different companies are recruiting our students for different internship opportunities, um, different uh, clinical opportunities. There's a lot of opportunities. I'm sorry, I said opportunities a lot, but really there's many for uh, students to take advantage of. Um, also, with our location, there's an opportunity for students that um, are from this Milwaukee area to kind of disconnect from um, where they're at. Our campus is uh, pretty compact, so it gives you the opportunity to feel at home. Um, to have your own little community on our campus. Um, I, again, um, there's a lot of information on here. Really what I want to also talk about is um, 
research opportunities. So we are an R1 research institution. Um, many students, some might know, some might not know. Uh, R1 basically means we are um, federally funded to do research on our campus. So as an undergraduate student, you will get opportunities to do research. Um, research on our campus or research within Milwaukee, which is really beneficial. I think it's really beneficial for students that like that hands-on learning opportunity. Um, also, a little bit about our application process. Um, our application is now open. It opened August 1st. Um, and then starting September 1st, so starting yesterday, if you've already applied, some of our decisions are already going out. So we're very excited. Um, October 1st is when our, um, well, when the FAFSA opens. Um, and December 1st is an application deadline for our spring applicants. So I know a few students do finish early. And then we have a March 1st deadline, um, a priority deadline. So if you, you know you're coming to UWM, you can make your decision then. Um, other than that, on the right, hand, sorry, on the left hand side, we have all of our visit options. Our campus is actually open for tours and you can actually sign up for those on our website. And there is um, a website there, it's uwm.edu slash visit. Um, I'm now gonna hand it over to, back over to Erica. All right, hello again, everyone. Uh, so I am the Senior Admissions Counselor here at Cardinal Stritch University. Uh, Stritch is located on the far northern side of Milwaukee, just blocks away from the lakefront. We are over by the Bayshore Mall Town Center area, as, long, as well as uh, over by Whitefish Bay. So Stritch is very proud of their small class sizes. Uh, we try and pride ourselves a lot on um, you know, that one-on-one -on -one attention that we can go ahead and provide for our students with our faculty. We do not have any teacher's assistance on our campus, and we have a new curriculum that emphasizes internships and externships for all of our students. Uh, all of our students will have interned at major corporations or mid-sized companies and or startups during any point in their career at Stritch. And we are also home to Project Pitch It, showcasing our um, spirit for uh, entrepreneurs and them pursuing their dreams. We also pride ourselves quite a bit on all of the volunteer work that all of our students go ahead and do throughout the Milwaukee area. And once they return home during any of their breaks, Stritch is doing test optional this year. We are doing holistic admissions uh, and Stritch is one of the affordable uh, colleges in the Milwaukee area. Um, on the sides, you're gonna be able to go ahead and see some statistics about diversity, uh, campus safety, as well as a little bit more about our size. Um, and if you guys have any questions, you guys can go ahead and ask them of our students. And I'll hand it over to Stacy. Hi everyone, Stacy again at Marquette University. Um, I just want to highlight a few things about Marquette in the city of Milwaukee. Um, so we are located in the downtown business district of the city of Milwaukee. So as stated before, Milwaukee is a mid-sized city. Our campus is also mid-sized. So it's about 8,000 students at the undergraduate level and we are a private Catholic Jesuit university. We have over 80 different majors to choose from and we are completely direct entry, which means that when you're a senior in high school, you're actually going to go ahead and apply directly to one of our seven colleges. So all 83 of those majors fit into one of these seven colleges or categories, like the College of Engineering or the College of Business Administration, the College of Nursing. And you go ahead and directly apply to one of those. Um, so that is really um, a big piece of what makes Marquette unique. And another piece is that location. So we are located right in downtown Milwaukee. In the background of the slide that you see here, that is a sh uh, that shows our campus right next to the business district of the city of Milwaukee. So about one mile away, there is like Michigan, so 20, 25 minutes away. Um, and we're really lucky to be able to have our location because a lot of the times urban setting schools are spread out throughout the entire um, city area, but we are really lucky to have our own condensed space within the downtown area. So you know when you're, uh, on campus, you know when you're off campus, even though there's no gates or fences or walls, we like being a part of that Milwaukee community. 
but we love having our campus community too. So again, you'll know when you're on campus, you know when you're off campus. And it's also really surprising how much green space we have on campus, considering that we are right in the heart of the city of Milwaukee. Um, so students certainly take advantage of that. As a Jesuit university, one of our main focuses is learning inside the classroom as well as outside the classroom. So we really like to think of Milwaukee as our bigger classroom. So we use it for things like learning experiences in the class, uh, in curriculums. So whether you're a nursing student, getting some hands-on um, experience in a hospital, or you're an engineering student doing a co-op, or you're a business student with an internship, over 85% of our students are getting some type of hands-on experience. So they are volunteering in the community, they're using their education to better the world around them, which is one of the pillars of a Jesuit education. So we're taking advantage of the urban location that we do have. Students can walk to one of the eight uh, major uh, fi Fortune 500 companies that Milwaukee has in the city. Um, so many students can walk to several of those from our campus. So students are certainly taking advantage of our location and of our uh, identity as a campus um, to really uh, transform themselves when they are here at Marquette. So that is a big piece of the Marquette uh, education, learning outside of the classroom, and Milwaukee is the perfect place to do that. Whether that's service learning or getting an internship or a job opportunity, there's so many ways to get involved in the bigger community that we are a part of, and I'm really excited for you all to learn a little bit more about that through our student panel. So now I'm going to throw it back over to Jasmine um, to go ahead and start the good part of the presentation, hearing from our students. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, so now I'm going to have each of our panelists, um, you can turn on your screen, I mean, turn on your camera if you want and unmute yourself. Um, I'll have you all first uh, introduce yourselves. Um, and it, we, we talk about where you're from, but introduce yourself, your major, um, something else that's fun about you, I guess. Anyone wanna start? I guess I can start. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Maxwell Dixon, but you can just call me Max. I attend Marquette University. I'm a junior here, starting at my first couple weeks. It's uh, pretty fun so far. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering here, and something fun, uh, I guess I could say, <laughs> um, I'm trying to pick up the bass guitar, so that's something new. Oh, yeah. very cool. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. I can um, go next. Oh, yes. Go. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> You're good. Um, uh, so hello, <laughs> my name is Amelia. I go, I am a first year graduate student at UW-Milwaukee. Um, I'm a Milwaukee native. I grew up on the South side. Uh, my major is criminal justice with uh, concentration in crime analytics. Uh, something interesting about me. I'm the campus and community engagement director for Student Association on campus. I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> Very cool. Um, and then um, my name is Maddie. Um, I am a senior at Cardinal Stritch. I'm from Frisco, Texas, which is about 20 minutes north of Dallas. Um, I'm an English literature and creative writing double major with a minor in history. And I guess the coolest thing about me recently um, as seen in that picture kind of was I just spent my junior year in Ireland studying abroad so wow very cool very cool um, well thank you all for being here today I'm actually gonna um, stop sharing my screen uh, with you all and give you all you know the forefront um, if you uh, if any of you have questions and you want to put them uh, in this chat feature, the Q&A, you can actually send us any questions that you might have for our students. Um, but just to get started, my first question uh, to all of you is what drew you uh, to attending a college in Milwaukee? I mean, um, I kind of went the furthest from home. Um, I just really, I wanted to really, I just wanted to change a pace from where I grew up and my aunt, actually graduated from Stritch um, about a decade before I started. So it was really nice when I was looking for small schools. 
uh, to just have that connection already to Milwaukee. And I went and visited and I just love being so close by the water and being by a big city, but not it be crazy like Chicago or New York would be. So big difference of pace kind of from where I grew up. For me, it was a little different, most because I'm, I was also born here. So I live literally 10 minutes from campus. Um, and the main reason why I wanted to stay here and attend Marquette was I already really knew the area. I knew what opportunities there were around me and I knew what I could do. And uh, also I could be, you know, that one friend who knew the area where all of my friends started from, like Illinois or things like that. But yeah, there's a ton of opportunities that are here in the city and just be able to take advantage of them. It's pretty nice for me. Yeah, also growing up here um, was definitely a big plus for me. I adore how diverse um, Milwaukee is and how big it is. I grew up here and I'm still finding new things and new fun facts about Milwaukee. Um, so I like that I can just get lost in the city. And that was something that I was really looking for when applying for colleges. Awesome, thank you. Um, and what benefits, um, what are the benefits of going to school in a city? In a big city? <laughs> Sorry. I would say, uh, first off, it looks really nice. That's just off top. Like the Milwaukee just city is really nice, especially if you get to see it like at dusk, it's super nice. You get to go on the, like one of those really tall hills, just see the whole skyline going across the home bridge. It's just super pretty just to look at. And plus there's just so many things to do, whether if you're at one of like the small cities or a different kind of area, you may not have all different kinds of things. There's a whole lot of hustle and bustle going around the city. And usually, you know, when there's not a whole uh, worldwide crisis going on, there's a whole lot of things to do and a whole lot of things for you to see and experience with some friends. Yeah, I would have to echo that. There's always something to do. Um, meeting new people would also be a really big thing for me. Coming to UW Milwaukee, I have best friends with very unique backgrounds. Um, so I really appreciated that. I don't know, I just love the diversity. Yeah, I just, I love just all of the wonderful opportunities that Milwaukee brings and all of the fun things to see. There's always something new for me to explore and especially just not having been raised in Milwaukee or anywhere near it. There always seems to be something that my friend mentions that I, I haven't even heard of. So it's always really fun kind of just to go and be able to explore. And that's one of the benefits of being by a city. There's always something to do and something new to find and explore. Thank you for sharing. And for those of you that might have questions for our students um, or just questions in general, again, you can use the Q&A function at the bottom of the screen. Um, and you can send us messages for our students or questions for our students, questions for our professional staff. Um, and we can answer any of the questions that you might have in that Q&A. Um, but I will ask my next question. Um, what professional opportunities have you had because of your institutions? Um, Stritch is really big with um, both on-campus student employment as well as um, internships like Erica mentioned. Um, almost all of our programs at Stritch do require at least one semester of internship, which is really nice, especially because we have a office at Stritch that is specifically meant to help us get um, internships and jobs in and around Milwaukee. So they help with resume writing and cover letter writing and mock interview and interview skills and stuff like that, which is really nice. And then also just working on campus. I've worked, I've been lucky enough to, I'm going into my fourth year working with admissions as a student, um, a student employee. So it's just really nice that they give you the opportunities to not only get those internships, but also to work on a professional college campus if it is something you're interested in. I can speak on a little personal experience. Uh, actually through Marquette this past uh, summer, I was able to get an internship at Rexnord, which is one of the engineering companies around Milwaukee. 
And uh, really, I took a class also last semester for professional development. And kind of like Stripes, they have a big emphasis on uh, internships, co-ops, and uh, opportunities for you to further your career and not just learn in the classroom, but also get some real world experience. So through Marquette, I was able to uh, learn how to go through the internship process, the interview process, uh, and do well during my internship and uh, kind of progress to where I want to be later on because you're only going to learn so much in school. Yeah. Yeah, so the thing I love about UW-Milwaukee is that we are so entwined with um, the outside community. So there are a lot of job offers that come through the different colleges within the university. Um, and one of those happened to be a global security analyst position for Johnson Controls um, that I applied to. And what was really cool is that the interviewer, which is now my boss because I got the job, um, was a UWM alumni. And so it was really cool to kind of like have that background and without going to UWM, I don't think I would have gotten that opportunity without like being here. So that was really cool. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, I think you all kind of hit on this, but um, <laughs> this is very basic, but what is there to do in Milwaukee? Okay, so a ton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a whole lot of food options. Uh, I'm a connoisseur, if you will, of food. I love uh, going out to get dinner and things like that. Um, so especially going into like the third ward, there's a ton of places that are really good. I actually have been going there a lot recently with my family to get like breakfast or like grab lunch or things like that. Uh, it's top tier. And then just like going to the lakefront and going to different festivals. There's like people said before, there's always something to do. There's always some event going on. I mean, like he mentioned, there is tons to do. I, I'm a big, I'm a big stereotypical English major, so I love to find all like the little bookstores around Milwaukee. Um, Boswell's kind of like the main one that's known, and a bunch of my friends who are also English majors at Stritch, we always end up there at least once a month kind of just looking through and they always have authors coming by and then we also managed to find this one bookstore like used bookstore near third ward that was really fun and just exploring all that and the Milwaukee Art Museum is one of my favorite places in Milwaukee as well because I'm a huge fan of art museums and just spending hours and hours there until my friends managed to pull me out of it so Yeah, I kind of wanted to say food before Max did. Um, but there's also a lot of, I'm really big on advocacy, getting involved, volunteering. And there's a lot of different organizations in Milwaukee, things like um, like Pathfinders, which helps like at-risk youth and stuff like that. So obviously that helps you build your resume, but it's also um, required for some majors. I um, mean, it's really nice to just be hands-on and helping people. Um, so Milwaukee definitely is not you know, scared of all these different organizations and stuff like that. Okay, next question. Um, why did you pick your institution outside of the fact um, that it's in Milwaukee? Um, I'll go first if you don't mind. Um, I chose Stretch because out of all the schools I toured and everything, they were really the ones that made me feel the most at home and welcomed. Um, I toured a couple other campuses all throughout the country, um, all over the South and up, obviously. Um, but just, there's something about Stretch with our small class sizes and the professors knowing your name and the fact that I can't walk down a hallway without at least like five, 10 people saying hello to me and asking how my day is. I just love the family feel and the feel that's like, you're not a number, you're a person with a name and everybody kind of acknowledges that and it's just super cool. Uh, did you wanna go? I don't know. Okay. Um, for me, I chose Marquette because not only did I kind of already know about the school because I live close to it, but also I chose it for their academics and what they like to do with the university and their uh, goal. Um, I'm gonna be like, I like school. That sounds kind of crazy. I like learning new things. And 
for one, their engineering, um, their engineering school is just like really great. They're really hands on. They're really trying to get you to learn everything that you need to know before you get out in the real world. Um, I also kind of felt at home when I went on tours and things like that. Um, they also offered a whole lot of like scholarship money for uh, students who come in, uh, whether that be uh, just help here and there, or um, I actually helped getting, I actually got a full ride to market through engineering. So uh, just doing some work along the way and seeing the opportunities that Marquette is able to give you through your journey is kind of why I chose to go here. I definitely wanted to go somewhere um, that had identity-based groups um, and just so I could like meet up, meet with people, meet and greets the people that, you know, had similarities with me. Um, also, because I knew coming in that I wanted to look at least two or three majors because I do the most and I'm really into academics. Um, and UW Milwaukee was the only one that had like the three majors I originally wanted to go for, which is completely different than what I'm actually majoring in now. Um, so that was kind of like the south song because those are the two things that they had that just didn't compare it to the other colleges I was looking at. Again, thank you for sharing. I feel like your all of your experiences are so different, but it's so and like you know our universities are different. So thank you so much. Um, next question: um, What has surprised you about the city of Milwaukee? There's so much history here. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've actually like I've lived here all my life. But when I first kind of before. Applying to college, I was like, oh, it's just, it's just Milwaukee. There's nothing like cool, any cool history facts here. But there's a ton of stuff. Like if you let yourself get lost in like the historic third world long enough, like you just find out weird stuff. Like there's a lake under Northwestern Mutual Building. And I've lived here for 21 years and just recently found that out. I thought it was really cool. So that surprised me. Yeah, that... I've been here for 20, I just now learned that too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, for me, what's surprising is how much there is uh, around here. Even though I've lived here all my life, there's still so much to see kind of what you're going off of. Uh, like there are different, like I said, there's a whole lot of restaurants I've never been to that I just recently started going to. Uh, there's different areas that I usually don't go to that I just recently started going to just to expand my horizons about the area. Because uh, when you're in high school, when you're in, uh, when you're growing up, you're only exposed to like the little parts. You kind of go through your own routine. But when you're in college, you kind of have a freedom to do what you want and go where you want. So as recently, I've been trying to veg out, get a little bit more feel of a city, uh, experience new things, get different ice cream from different places because they're all pretty good. Not gonna lie, and uh, just really just experience all the things I've never really seen before. Yeah. If I'm being honest, it's gonna be the weather because oh Lord, I was not ready for the snow and the single digits and then negatives. But um, <laughs> on a more serious note, um, I think just kind of how different it is compared to like Dallas, because I was really used to Dallas and how big Dallas is and like kind of just the way uh, that city works. But coming to Milwaukee, it was a completely different feel and it surprised me and kind of really showed me how each city is like completely different. And even though they might both have like skyscrapers and stuff and really tall buildings that like Dallas and Milwaukee, there's like so much different like history and like kind of demographics and just things to do. And it's just really cool to experience all that. I also had one more thing really quick. Uh, I just want to say about connections because the more you're out there, the more you actually get to understand that even though your school is, well, I should say, even though Milwaukee is like a decently sized city, there's, it kind of feels like it's small enough where you get to know a lot of people over time. Like uh, people that I go to school with or people that um, have mentioned me, things like that have been involved in other organizations that I had no idea about. And when you get to learn these things, you get to have kind of some ends. It can help you out with like internships or different opportunities just to be able to help you out along the way. So there's a ton of connections you can find 
in this big little city. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of students do make the decision to stay in Milwaukee. Um, other students decide to go to a city. Um, I think the great thing about um, our college, like our universities and colleges location is that um, it gives you the opportunity to work in a big city. So if you want to stay in Milwaukee, you can. If you want to go to a big city, you get you have that experience of working in a city. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Very good point. Um, uh, I'm trying to see which ones I say now. Um, oh, what has been your favorite place in Milwaukee? I have a couple, <laughs> depending on why, why I am traveling to those places. Um, as of recently, before things got shut down per COVID, um, it was Anodynes, which is on the south side on 3rd and Bruce. So like they, um, it's, a it's a coffee place and they host, I, I would term it underground bands or like music, maybe like there's poetry slams, they like have a stage and it's super laid back. Um, a lot of, a lot of college students go there, whether it be from my car or UW Milwaukee to like chill there and study. It's really good coffee. Um, yeah, that would have to be my top tier place. For me, I'd say it's a tie between the third ward or Culver's just in general. Uh, I love Covers. Their, like, I love their ice cream. I love their burgers. That's, if I could eat Covers every day, I, I would. And uh, when I got to college and I learned that a lot of people haven't had it, that's like one of the first places I want to take them just because it's that good to me. Um, but on a more serious note, uh, I'd say more the third ward because uh, especially like during the summer or like the spring, it's super nice to walk around and see the different areas. Like there's a ton of places to eat, like the public market. Uh, I recently started going there again with my boss uh, to get lunch, and there's a ton of food options I had no idea about. And just being able to see that area and kind of how Milwaukee was structured a little bit before right now is really, really cool. Um kind of took my third word option, I was going to say, because I just love all the little stores in there. And I'm a huge foodie. I almost went to culinary school. So public market is like my favorite place to just like walk around and always find new foods. Um, other than that, uh, one of the favorite places that me and my friends go to a lot is Leon's. Um, love Leon's. I have forgotten cash way too many times in my life for that little freak out moment but I think Leon's and kind of just third ward there's a lot of memories I've had around third ward with friends and stuff with like meals and just shopping days and stuff so so we have a question um the question is is what is your favorite site to see in Milwaukee and I'm going to add to this like maybe favorite place to like study that's not in like your library like most traditional form of studying in a library where do you like to study? What sites do you like to see in Milwaukee um, when you want to get away? Away. <laughs> um, for me, I'm going to butcher this name, like, because everybody I talk to pronounces it different. I think it's Clody or Clode Park. Um, it's about a mile and a half off the Stritch campus. So I we. Clody? I, I think know. it's like, there's like yeah. three different ways to pronounce it, and everyone kind of mm -hmm. just knows. Um, it's the nearest lake access to Stritch, which is really nice. Um, but it's just this really beautiful park that goes right down into the water on a hill. And it's just, it's the, my best, like we walk there, we'll do, we'll run there and back. We've done picnics, we've hung out. Uh, it's great for procrastination during finals, just to go walk down there and see the nice water and stuff. And also like kind of in the winter, just to see how the lake is because it amazes me and a couple of my other friends from like Germany and stuff. We went down when it was like the negative 46 wind chill. So yeah. <laughs> is that safe? <laughs> um, we were bundled up and we were literally okay. only out there for like two minutes to take photos until her phone shut off because of how cold it was. Car doors were remained open to make sure nothing froze shut, but it was, it was an interesting experience. Sounds like it. Wow. <laughs> 
Uh, for me, I'd have to say like the lakefront, uh, specifically like the Collectivo. That's right around there. I've gone there a good couple of times to get some work done. And then also it's, I keep saying this, but it's really nice to just look at the scenery, especially because it's right at the beach too. Uh, you get a little bit of the hustle and bustle, but not too much to where, you know, it's all crazy and things like that. So it's really, it's really calm, really nice. Uh, you can have, you know, smoothie or a cup of coffee or whatever you're into while you're at it. And really just to see the greenery and the water, E, I guess that's a word now, um, of, you know, Milwaukee and seeing like, it's just a nice place to chill out and when you're just trying to, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna be a bit of a nerd because um, I like reading. Uh, I uh, frequent the Milwaukee a public library um, just because it's really pretty and I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I get lost in there. I usually go to the study, but then I get distracted. Um, I like the architecture. I don't know. It's like this historic piece where I feel like it's still being used very frequently. Um, and it's super peaceful. So. Do you have a favorite location? I know there's a few, but like, sorry, I, this is me. I'm not from Milwaukee originally. So like, I, maybe there's only one location, but I thought there was many. So maybe I'm wrong. No, there is. Uh, okay. uh, I, so I frequent all of them. I think I'm specifically talking about the one downtown. I okay. want to say it's either the one downtown or Wisconsin Avenue, two different locations, but both of them are really great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Awesome. I didn't know if they, I thought they were multiple. I just wanted to make sure. Awesome. Okay, um, so our session does end at 545. So if you have any questions for our students, please feel free to send them in the Q&A. Um, next question is um, uh, a piece of advice that you would uh, give to a student that is applying to college. I think like ask questions. So like regardless of how small or like kind of like weird or out there or insignificant you think a question is, make sure you go ahead and ask it. They're working in admissions. I see a bunch of students who are really kind of scared to ask these questions that they that ultimately really does help them decide where they want to go. So asking questions always keep that open line of communication open with your admissions counselor just to make sure that if anything does pop up, you can ask them and they can get back to you as soon as possible. Really just allows the process to go as smoothly as possible and also just allow you to learn as much information about the school that you could potentially be going to. I would say uh, just a little thing, uh, to be open-minded, but also to be real and be organized about it. Because uh, for me, I like to keep everything organized. Like when I was applying to colleges, I would say uh, all the ones I'm looking for, like uh, all the prices, what they have, uh, what all I can do, but also to not just uh, push aside the ones you already know about. Because like I said, Marquette was a good college for me. So, uh, and it was just right here under my nose all the time. Um, but yeah, to always, look for your goal, uh, keep an open mind about different places, ask questions, uh, keep yourself organized and be real with yourself to be like, to really uh, know what you want to do, even though uh, you have plenty of time to figure that out, but kind of get a little focus on what you want to do and kind of go from there and figure out like logistically what's the best path for you to not just jump right into it without really looking where you're going. Yeah, I kind of have to retweet what everybody's been saying. College is definitely, it's, it's a growth thing. <laughs> I don't know how, to, how else to phrase it. Um, definitely keep your options open and really stay in tune with yourself and what you're looking for. I know people who've gone to small colleges who are like, I don't know why I did that and like transferred. So, which is not bad, but just kind of like staying in tune, keeping your options open. 
um, trying to get organized and prepared. So like get a planner, like you're probably going to feel like, oh, I'm not going to use it. You're going to need it. Get a planner. Uh, I encourage everybody to look into pre-college programs. So the summer before your first semester, those are super, super helpful and in getting into the swing of college because it is a different lifestyle. Um, do all the chores that you can. And yeah, definitely ask all the questions. Be that one annoying person to ask all of the questions because you're probably thinking of a question nobody else wants to ask. Um, and it's just, it's worthwhile to have all of your information. Um, Cause yeah. Absolutely, uh, thank you. Um, I guess a follow-up question is um, what's one thing or maybe it can be two, um, you wish you would have known as a high school student? Now that you've been in college for a while, what is one thing you wish you would have known or done in high school? I'd say to make more connections, kind of how I talked about it before, because connections are really everything. And uh, because I made a few in high school, I was able to have some ends here at the university, but also going forward, uh, making connections with different people around you in different programs, like pre-college programs, or when you get involved in campus, or just meeting new people, just be, even if you aren't an extrovert, be open to different opportunities and meeting new people and making these connections because they can only benefit you. There's no downside. I think for me, it's um, the one thing I wish I would have known is kind of just like, to just be honest with yourself and to be kind of, don't worry about what other people think of. Cause I was like the only person in my whole high school that really went outside of the South for college. So kind of just like, don't, wor don't get caught up in what everyone else around you is doing. You have to put yourself first. You have to put what you need and what you want out of your college experience, uh, rather than trying to spend time thinking about what would seem the coolest or what would make everybody else around you uh, like think better of you or like that, I think, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that. Um, I would say the idea of grabbing onto opportunities before you need them, such as like using like um, studying programs slash tutoring uh, programs that are there or like different um, cultural centers, because I ended up going when I needed them, but it would have been really smart for me to have just subscribed to those things in the very beginning. Wow, great answers. Okay, last question. We have two minutes. Um, one thing you're looking forward to most this year? Graduating. <laughs> I'm excited for my degree. I'm excited. Yes. I worked four years for it and I'm very excited just to be able to go through commencement and then figure out what else I have in my life. Waiting for For me, I'd say I'm waiting for everything to open back up, uh, for things to die down again, because like I said, I've more come out of my shell this past semester, and I actually do want to do a lot more things now. Well, it sucks that, you know, we can do summer fest this summer and other things like that. So I'm really excited for things to open up again, and I can experience these things with my friends, you know, without any worries about that. And to kind of just, you know, live, live free again, be happy. No. Yeah. Definitely the academics. This is my first year in graduate school, so I'm super excited to be told that I can do my own research, write my own essays. I feel like I'm getting really into the grit of my um, major and study. I'm a bit of a nerd, so I was like looking forward to the classes to the very beginning. So that's how I'll be excited about this year. Thank you. I um, congratulations on graduating, Maddie. Um, and yes, um, I think both of those are great. And I'm going to actually wrap up this session right now. Um, thank you all for joining us. Um, if you do have questions um, for UWM, I don't know if we can post like a a whole answered. Yeah. So it doesn't look like we can post our emails, but I can tell you where to find my email address. Um, our UWM, we have an admissions page that you can find us.
And Stacey? Yep. So you can find us on marquette.edu slash explore. And um, if you're from Milwaukee, it's a good chance that I'm your admissions counselor and you can find my information there to connect with me in any way. Same thing for me, stretch.edu slash apply um, or just stretch.edu and you can find my info on there as well. Thank you, everyone. Thank you everyone for attending today's session. Thank you to our panelists and our group. As you are exiting out today, um, for those attendees, there will be a quick survey. Otherwise, again, please feel free to go to WACAC.com for any other additional recorded sessions. Thank you everyone. Have a great rest of your day.